morning. Sundays are literally my favorite day of the entire week because it's like a reset day, a relaxed day. I get to go to church and worship and see my church friends. And it's just like overall the best day of the week. So this is kind of what my Sunday is like. Church starts at 9.30, so I need to leave here around like 9.15ish. So I'm gonna make coffee and then finish going and getting ready. Don't read the time, I'm running late. Sundays are also the perfect like reset day. I like to do laundry and clean. So one of the things I'm gonna do is wash my brand new sheets from today's sponsor. Brooklinen. Sunday night was night one with my new sheets and let me tell you these are the best sheets I've ever had in my entire life I'm not just saying that because it's sponsored. I slept so good with these sheets I literally cannot get out of bed and they make my bed feel and look so luxurious One of my absolute favorite features is that the pillows have this little tuck on all the pillowcases and with my previous sheets my pillow would like fly out of the pillowcase because I am like a messy sleeper. I'm also a hot sleeper and have had no issues with these sheets. And luxurious sheets like these can be really expensive. Their philosophy is that everyone deserves simple beautiful home essentials without that luxury markup. Sheets like this usually cost like 500 or more dollars but Brooklyn offers them for 200 to 250 dollars. Right now Brooklyn is having their Black Friday sale. All of their products are 20% off until the end of the month. It's their biggest sale of the year, so definitely take advantage of it. And to get that discount, just click the link in the description and it'll be applied at checkout. So if you get the classic sheet bundle, what you're looking at right now is the classic. It comes with the core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. It's gonna be really cool and crisp with a breathable 270 thread count, which is great for hot sleepers like me. And you can choose to mix and match from 20 plus colors and patterns. They also have the Luxe Hardcore Sheet Bundle. It comes with all the same stuff and it's a 480 thread count. And these ones will be more of like a buttery soft type of feel. I cannot speak highly enough about these sheets, so just go take advantage of that Black Friday sale with the link in the description. Now for my least favorite and my favorite time of Sunday, which is picking out my outfit for church. I take forever to do this, but I'm running late today, so I gotta kind of get, get on it. So over here we have my dresses, and it is actually cold outside for once. It feels like fall, so I could definitely go for like a long sleeve if I want. I don't really have that many long sleeve options. Honestly, these are kind of my only two long sleeve dresses. This one is pretty cute and I haven't worn it yet. I could go with this. I go with this and add a sweater maybe. I think I'll do that. We'll try that out. I think this like ties right here. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a bow or like a knot vibe. I don't know, it's like kind of cute, I guess. Shapes me nicely. Okay, I definitely don't think it's supposed to be a bow. I guess I'll go with the knot. Okay, if this matches, I'm definitely wearing this because I've only gotten to wear this once last fall. I don't know. I need to go look at it in the mirror. Okay, that one didn't really work out, but I think this will. I don't necessarily need a jacket, but I feel like it just adds a little bit. Plus, it's actually cold outside, so I think it'll help. I can take it off when I get to church. This was actually a gift from my mom, and she got me matching shoes. I need to find the other one. I think it's downstairs. Phoenix! Whenever I'm up here and Phoenix is in the living room, he can't find me and he starts meowing. <laughs> now time to do my makeup and hair. I am completely out of time. I don't know why I woke up so late knowing I was filming. Luckily, my hair is already done. And then I'm just going to do like super simple makeup. And now my washer is going crazy, but final look. Also, normally I do shower on Sundays, but I showered last night, so didn't shower this morning. Perfume. I'm in the car, ready to go. As per usual on Sunday, I'm ready, and I am waiting on my boyfriend, who always makes me late, but it's fine. Um, it is 48 degrees outside. I'm so happy about it. We also go to the park after church, usually around like one, and it'll be 57 degrees. So I'll definitely be wearing like leggings and a hoodie and all that good stuff. Probably won't actually vlog when I'm at church because I be churching. So I will see you in a bit. I'm on my way there. Just got back from church, went and checked the mail. Kitty, come here. Every time I come home from being away, I'm like, kitty cuddle times. 
church was really good the worship today was a banger and we've been doing like sermon series and then also in sunday school miracles and luke so today we went over the older son and the prodigal son story and it was banger and then in sunday school we went over the woman being healed for touching jesus's robe and then the girl who was raised from the dead and it was banger yeah, was it good, kitty? Was it good? Did you get a good nap in while we were at church? So right now we come home. I'm gonna change into like comfy clothes for the park. We go to the park with our friends from our like Sunday school class every Sunday after church. And so we all just like get food and take it there. So I'm gonna place an order at one of our favorite restaurants. And we're gonna get like some fish and some chicken. It's like a Cajun restaurant. Place my order. Now I'm gonna go change. All right, I'm all comfy now putting on my shoes. It feels so good to not have heels on anymore. Those heels were a little a little too high for me. Even though they weren't that high, they were just so like, and standing and walking around. Heels at church honestly does not hit. My feet start to hurt. We are at the restaurant. Abram went in to go get the food and I'm just waiting for him out here. And then we will go. Well, actually we're gonna get Sonic as well. That's like our Sunday ritual. We'll get like our food from somewhere. We switch between like Jimmy John's, this place. You know, I think those are the only two things we really ever get. <laughs> and then we'll go get like a drink from Sonic because it's always happy hour on the app, so half price drinks, so may as well. And recently at Sonic, I've been getting the Diet Cherry Limeade. Let me tell you, it hits. It is so good. I'll do a reaction when we get there. All right, drink test. I told them how good these are. Cheers. Mmm. Banger. Just got back from the park. We actually ended up being at the park for like three hours or so, longer than normal. It's kind of in a way that's four o'clock and the sun is like already going down. That's winter for you. And also I'm wearing thin sweatpants and kind of a thin sweater. Terrible decision, because once the sun started going down, it was freezing. Next up on my to-do list is to make my cat his wet food. He's like sniffing it like crazy. I know, so yummy. Can I get it on the plate for you? He always eats it before I even have a chance to heat it up, because the directions say heat it up, but he always just goes for Phoenix. Do you want to put his food where it goes? Thanks. Look, oh yeah. <sighs> I'm tired. Hi, Tyler. Hi. So like I said on Sundays, I'll do like a reset so you can watch and enjoy it while I just kind of watch probably show on Netflix and clean because by the time Sunday comes, my house is always a mess. Usually we'll go grocery shopping on Sunday, but I kind of still have food from last grocery shop and I really don't want to leave the house again. Okay, clean time. I made my bed and then it was so comfortable that I got in my bed and watched a show for a little bit, but it felt really good to relax. So I'm just gonna sweep up the kitchen, put away the dishes because they're done now, and then I'll be done with my tidying up for today. I finally finished all of the kind of cleaning and reorganizing today. I still need to do my actual clothes with laundry, but I don't have that much laundry. So I might just wait a few more days to do my laundry. Anyway, I am teaching my Bible study on Tuesday. So I have my group from church and we meet on Tuesdays as well to do Bible study. Right now we're studying Hebrews and sometimes we'll just take turns on who wants to teach or the leader of our group will teach. So I volunteered to teach and it's Hebrews 8 through 9 verse 14. So like half of nine and all of eight. And so I kind of want to show you guys what it's like whenever I am preparing my Bible study lessons, like what I do. So I have my laptop here because I like to put it on slideshow and then I can use my iPad for like notes. So it's not like a slideshow I show anyone. It's like my own little notes and like what questions to ask. And I have a very disorganized brain. And so if I were to just write notes on a paper, I would get lost. My notes would be all over the place. It just wouldn't make sense. But if I do it on here, then I can like edit it and everything. I have obviously my Bible with 
the what I'm going to be teaching. Hebrews for you. When we did Romans, we used the Romans for you book. It just breaks down that information really well and the context and stuff. And then I also listen to some podcasts and sermons. Someone else gave me these two books, which have more just like questions and stuff. This one is John MacArthur Hebrews. And this one... It gives you the context, some keys to the text, unleashing the text where it actually has a text and then what all the different like wordings mean and stuff. And then it also has it going deeper where it'll talk about something from the Old Testament or whatever. And then exploring the meaning, the truth for today, and some reflections. So there's just a lot of questions in here. And then same with this one. It's uh, 13 studies for individuals and groups for Hebrews. My main point when I'm teaching is to help us to better understand the text, like the main point in it, get people to kind of take that to heart and ask some questions that can like stir up your heart and like how it applies to you today and what it means for your faith and what it means to have Jesus in our lives based on the new information that we learn from the text. And there's a lot of good stuff in here. I'm gonna prepare my lesson. first half of the lesson I think I'm gonna do the part that's chapter 9 tomorrow which is probably a bad idea but I love procrastinating but you know I really want to take my time so I can like get a good lesson so I am also hungry and it's also getting late so I want to make food and then go to bed so my options for dinner tonight meatballs or chicken and I don't know which one to do Okay, I think I'm gonna do chicken and I'm gonna watch my show while I do it. It's so bad, but I can't just do a thing. I either have to have music playing, a YouTube video, or Netflix, or whatever. Um, I think I've been corrupted by the internet, but <laughs> welcome to this generation. Just finished eating dinner with my boyfriend and now I'm gonna go to bed. That's it, that is my Sunday. Thank you for watching my Sunday. Look how comfortable my bed looks. I cannot wait to just curl up in there.